Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom yasela. Kom hello, yahawa, bahasim, yahawa shai, bahasim, rachach kudas. That by honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick camp lesson. President's edifying by the Spirit, and we come out to teach our people, you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the scriptures. And um, that it's high time to awake out of sleep and it's time to repent because we're in the last days. As I'm sure you can see a lot of things that's been going on throughout the earth. Uh, the brothers doing videos all week long, you know, watching and praying, being circumspect. And, and we're warning the flock that we're living in the last days and, and that our Lord will be coming soon. And like I said, again, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. The scriptures was given to you. The law, statutes, and commandments was only given to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, man. The children of Israel. Not these heathen nations, you see? So like I said again, we're going to go into Romans 13 and 11 real quick. Let's get Romans 13 and 11 real fast. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me, um, because the Hawashai said the kingdom is at hand. This, this is what we're, we're to go out and preach the gospel, man. Matter of fact, I'll get this Mark 1 and 15. And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Hey, that, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. You know, you're supposed to repent and believe the gospel. What's the gospel? That you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are the true Hebrew Israelites, and that the Lord is only coming for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Can't get around that, man. Now, the world has been sold on that idolatrous um, image of white Jesus, and they got the people believing, they got everybody believing that this is just a universal thing, and the Lord, he loves everybody. No, the, the Lord was only dealing with the children of Israel in the Old Testament, and he's only dealing with the children of Israel in the New Testament. It did nothing change. The scripture says that Yahweh, he, he, he changed not. Roughly paraphrasing. But, but, but what did they give you? Don't the scripture says not to add to, nor to take away from the Holy Scriptures? The so-called white man, what did they do? They added a white guy as the Lord. The scripture says that he was a dark, melanated man with woolly hair. You see, deep voice. But who did they give you? They changed the scriptures by giving you a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. Which that's not that, that's not the Lord, man. That's I that's idolatry. If you're in a Christian church that teaches white Jesus, and matter of fact, if they're not teaching the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be in Paleo Hebrew, they're not teaching the, the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew, then you're you're in a church of idolatry. The Lord is, is not dealing with no no, no false images, no, hey, that idol worship is what's got us in it and, and pretty much the conditions that we're in right now amongst these damn heathens, man. I'm telling you, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep. Let me go ahead and grab that. Let me get this Mark 1 and 15 back again. And saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. See? The kingdom of Yahweh. This was spoken of 2,000 years ago, so you know we had to be really, 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 really close right now, man. And you can see all the things that Yahweh Shai spoke of. Matter of fact, we can go into that as well. But let's get to Romans first. The gospel is simple, man. To repent. The gospel is very, very simple. Let's get, um... Well, you know what, too? Let me, uh... Okay, so lock here. Got the got the brother with me today. Matter of fact, you know what? I forgot the um the hookup, so I had to sit the phone right here. I forgot, you know, our little. Yeah. So my bad on that, man. But we can we can probably step up to like about here, yeah. where you can see it, you know, off the angle. You know, Shalom, Shalom. 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 Got the got Shalom. got the brother with me. Yep. Shalom. Yep. 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 Shalom. Shalom. So we're gonna continue. Um, you wanna grab from Romans 13 and 11? 13 and 11. Yeah, I was just about to read that. 
it just went off into Mark 115. It's just basically the gospel is simple. It's time to repent. Time. You know, the kingdom is at hand. Time. Okay, Romans 13 and 11. Romans verse 13, I mean chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing that time, that now it is high time to awaken out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See, and that hey, that's that's the gospel, man. But it's the gospel is for you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Matter of fact, hold what you got, Ock. I'm going to go um let's get that Matthew 24. And I'm gonna start at verse 3. Um, it says, and now this is the disciples asking the Lord what would be going on in the end days, what would be going on just before his coming. It says, and as he said, Matthew 24 and 3, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, or Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And that's going on right now. And ye shall hear wars, rumors of wars. You're hearing about that right now. A lot more. Matter of fact, they're talking about nuclear war. Um, um, just on an everyday basis, they, they, all these nations are testing different missiles. You're hearing about Russia with their Satan 1, Satan 2. You got North Korea, they're testing missiles. India, they're testing missiles. You see, it's all talks of nuclear war going on. It says, see that ye be not troubled. For these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are happening. Wars, rumors of wars. Pestilence is going on. You're hearing more and more about famine. And as these gas prices go up, that's going to turn that food up, man. That them food prices is about to go through the roof. Because the, the shipping companies that's driving this food to where it's going, is supermarkets, the Walmarts, the Targets, all these different places, the gas is going to get so expensive, they're going to have to raise the prices on what you eat. Go ahead, I, this is, um, verse 12, Romans 13 and 12. Verse 12, the night is far, far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. See, that's the, that, that's the gospel. Cast off the works, works of darkness, repent. We just went into Mark, I think that was um, 1 and 15, if I'm not mistaken, um, but it talks about, hey, the kingdom is at hand. We just read off the things that will be happening just before our Lord comes. The kingdom is at hand. The gospel is simple. Repent. Because if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. And that's the reason why we come out here on the highways and byways. The scripture says to cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. Who is his people? The Israelites, man. You can only repent to the Father by you have to know his true name. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. You have to repent, man. We're in the very last of days, man. The bus is coming, so to speak. You don't want to miss that bus. Okay, but we're gonna um, switch gears a little bit and go off into Proverbs chapter 4. And hey, it, it, the whole book of Proverbs is just all wisdom, man. But if you're doing what these scriptures are saying to do, man, you're, hey, you're, you're going to be blessed, man. You can go ahead and start, start off, Ock. Right? Get a little sip of water. Proverbs verse, chapter 4, verse 1. Hear ye, children, the instructions of a father. See that? And it, and yeah. Go ahead, Ock. Right? My bad. Go ahead. Father, and attend to no understanding. See that? Here are ye children. Who are the children? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. It says, the instruct hear, hear ye the instructions of a father and attend to no understanding. That's simple, man. A true loving father is going to show you true love by giving you the things to move about in the world without you being hurt, man. A true father is going to want to protect you. He's going to tell you certain things to do and not to do. And in the Bible, the Lord, he has set it all up for us. 
He told us what to do and what not to do. You see? Matter of fact, let me um slot. Joshua. Joshua 1 and 7. The precept for that. Only be thou strong and, and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. So when you listen to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you're going to prosper. If you don't, you're going to be knocked off diminished, man. It, he placed life and death before us. Go ahead, I. Verse 2. For I give you good doctrine. See, Forsake ye not my law. See that? Good doctrine. <laughs> he says, he, he gives you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. Which means don't forget what I'm telling you to do. See, the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they'll keep the white man's laws. They'll stop at the stop signs. They'll stop at his red lights. You know, just they're, they're, you know they'll do the speed limit. They'll they they'll, they'll do what the so-called white man told them to do. But when it comes to the Lord, no. Nope. Go ahead, Op. Verse three: For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved, in the sight of my mother. Go ahead, Op. Four: He thought he taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart re retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. See that? Retain the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Keep the commandments and you will live. You will prosper. See, when we was keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, we was on top. That's why these nations, like, like America, they love for you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans to go against the, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. Why? Because they know that that keeps you from his power. If you go into the book of Apocrypha, I want to say the book of Judah, when they, um, when they came up against um, the children of Israel and the general, he was asking them, you know, the, the one guy was telling the general, hey, look, we can't go up against these people if they're, if they're right with their God. If they're not sinning, we're going to get spanked. But if we can get them to sin, if we can get them to go off, their Lord is going to leave them, roughly paraphrasing, man. And that's how we done got knocked off and, 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 and we're in these these. Fucked up conditions, man, because they know. See, these elite, they understand, they know the scriptures. They know to keep you in sin, so that way you can't call on our power. They know that that further is going to just keep us in a destroyed state. You see? It's very important, man, to, to do what the Lord said. Now, are we saved by the laws? No, we're saved by what your house side done for us. That grace, man, but that, that door of grace is about to close. Yahweh Shai, he died on the cross for our sins. That's what we're really saved by, by faith in him and that. But that don't mean that you can run around and be a complete damn demon, man. I was just doing a lesson on the article where they got the um, these Christians running around out here uh, uh, protesting because I think it's Florida. They want to put, like, say, like, if a movie come on, they want they want them to put like the um you know how if it's a gore movie or if it's if it's something that's violent or you know like that tag that they put in it they want them to put if this is gonna be an LGBTQ hookup as far as cartoons and all this other stuff for the children they want that that logo, that logo on there to let you know if just before you watch the movie you know what you're getting into and you know Christians is marching against that talking about they should be no the Lord he loves every look. That white Jesus Christianity, that idolatry, man, it's going to get you knocked off, man. It's going to get you knocked off. That's white Jesus Christianity. White Jesus Christianity tells you that the laws is done away with. You can just be a complete damn demon. All you got to do is just repent to the Father in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, man. That is going to get a lot of our people destroyed. Matter of fact, stay where you at there, Ock. I'm going to grab um, that Micah 2 and 10 real quick. Micah chapter 2 verse 10 and it reads arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with the sore destruction this place is polluted as hell man our people are sorely destroyed because they but first off they believe in white Jesus there is no power in that man you're believing in a complete lie a vain idol that can't do nothing for you here you go 
You done got up, you got big mama and them that got up every Sunday of their life and went to the church and gave a so they gave a damn uh, pastor pork chop their earnings throughout their whole life, man. And, and that's in Proverbs 2. You just 40, 50 years going to a church, giving money to somebody for some shit that don't even exist, man. White Jesus is a vain idol. Go ahead, I. Tell, I mean, verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. See that? Repetition. It goes on and on. Get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. The Lord is telling you what to do. You decline from it. Hey, your ass is in for it. Hey, that, you got regular parents, man, that you, you know, well, not these days, really, but hey, you, you you get your ass beat, man, um, um, for not doing what a parent said to do, man. You're not doing the chores, man. You at school acting the hell up. He saw he the bro that in where you can't whoop your children. Yeah, yeah. But they know. That's taking yeah. Them from them being listening to what you listening to what you supposed, supposed to say, what you say in life. Yeah. I was I just done a lesson on, on something similar to that. That sheriff down there in Florida, um, they had caught a little 10-year-old boy, you know, with the school shooting out in Texas. So this little 10-year-old boy, you know, he he posts on on social media with his guns and talking about where's the nearest school or some crazy shit like that. So they went in the, they arrested his little ass. And that sheriff was basically saying, we need to take it back to the old school. He said, we need to start spanking these damn children again. Exactly. But the thing of it is, is it's hypocritical because these children can call the police on you and they'll come and take the kids and take your ass to jail. So that same officer, if the child called up the police on the parent, they're gonna come and arrest them, but that's what he said. So they're actually backwards and very hypocritical, man. You're living in a, that's why they call this Babylon the Great. The great city of confusion, man. Babel, man. This place is confused as hell. This is the only place where they call bitter sweet and sweet bitter, man. Good, evil, you know, evil good. This place is wicked as hell, man. Go ahead, I. Verse seven, wisdom is the Principle. Well, I think we get verse six. We did we get verse six? Verse six. Forsake, forsake her not, and she she shall preserve their their love for her, and she she shall keep thee. Yep. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. It says, love her, and she shall keep thee. You supposed to matter of fact, it's a scripture where it talks about um, called wisdom, my kinswoman. Sister and a kinswoman. Yeah, that's Proverbs 7 and 4. Let me get that. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. You see that? So, say for instance, you trying to, you know, uh, uh, you, hey, how's it going now? You come, you come across somebody, you a guy, you trying to date this girl, but your sister know about this girl, right? She probably went to school with her and all kinds of stuff. She, your sister is going to have the best interest in mind for you if she know that this bitch is a whore, man. You, she, your sister going to tell you, hey, look, bro, yeah, right. you don't want no parts of that, bro. You don't want no parts of that. Matter of fact, a sister will tell that bitch to leave you alone. Look, leave my brother alone. No, my brother not no. Yes. No, get the hell away. Because she know to get down. You know? So let me get that back again. Proverbs 7 and 4. Proverbs. Say, Oh, you, oh, you still in uh, four? I, oh, I was going to get Proverbs 7 and 4 back again. Mm -hmm. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. You're supposed to be down for this wisdom, man. It's supposed to be your main, main squeeze, so to speak, man. Go ahead, I. Chapter 6. I mean, verse, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, Get understand. See that? It says wisdom is the principal thing. And with all thy getting, get understanding. It's not just enough to know something. Know, know something. You got to understand what it is. You know, you got to understand it. You see? It's plenty, what's going on now? There's plenty of people that know about football, but everybody don't understand it. You might be sitting there and watching a Sunday game with your woman. 
she may know what a, a touchdown is, but she don't know about pass interference. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? With all thy getting, get understanding. That's the principal thing. Go ahead, I. Verse 8. Exalt her, and she shall promote, promote thee. Woo! Pro she, see? Go ahead, I. She shall, she shall bring thee to honor. When thou, when thou dost embrace her. When thou, yep, when thou do embrace her. Hey, she's gonna, hey, look. <laughs> Exalt wisdom, man. You're supposed to be exalting her. You know, like I said, hey, we use the, the illustration of a woman. You know, you out in the boat, hey, that's my woman. You go, you know, you take pride in your, especially if you got a, a great looking one. You're gonna take pride in her, man. You're gonna protect her. You know? You ain't gonna be whooping on her and all you giving. You know, giving her, giving her black eyes and shit. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. Nine. She shall give give to thy head and a, an ornament. An ornament of grace. Uh. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. See, she shall give thine head an ornament, man. It's gonna, hey, it's gonna be, you're gonna look good among men, along, uh, uh, amongst Yahweh and men. Scripture talks about that. We have we have a reputation to up, obtain, man, up, uphold in this kingdom, man. You coming to this truth, you're supposed to, you know, move and operate in wisdom, man. You see, once you come into this truth, see, you're going to understand, all right, now I can see why the Lord didn't want me eating shrimp, crab, lobster, because it messes with your body. It gives you bad health. You see? Now I can see why the Lord said don't commit adultery with this man's wife because that nigga going to get after you with the shotgun or whatever he got. The knife, he, he don't want to put fist on you, man. The law, statutes, and commandments, man, th th that's wisdom, man, when you use the law, the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments in its proper fashion, man. Right. Go ahead, I. Hear, O oh, oh my son, and receive my sayings, and the, and the years of thy life shall be many see that says here my son receive what he's saying the days of your life is going to be many and that goes into the kingdom what those those law statutes and commandments are going to be actually written on our minds and in, in, in hearts that goes off into the kingdom your days are going to be many we're not going to hey there ain't going to be no dying in the kingdom man for us man you know those law statutes and commandments are going to be written on our minds and our hearts which in turn the scripture says that the wages of sin is death if there's no sin, then there's no dying. Go ahead, I. Eleven. I have taught thee in my in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in white plan. See? I have taught you in wisdom, man. I'm telling you, when we was when we was living by the law, statutes, and commandments, man, the Lord was running through nations on our behalf, man. We was living it up, man. We had, man, look, there was nothing that we lacked. We was out here boiling out of control. But what does Jake want to do? You know, following it behind damn Eve, man. The damn serpent. Listening to this clown. Oh, no, you can have, you know. <laughs> no, man, hey, we got to listen to what Yehovah Shimmy Abishai told us, man. That's the descriptions goes off into the strange woman. That's in the book of Proverbs as well, the strange woman. You out here following the philosophies of white Jesus. That's a strange woman. The Lord is a very jealous power, man. That goes off into um, the book of Exodus, Exodus man. With the, well, um, that's the top 10th commandment right there. To love the Lord, man. He's not going to have no other gods before him, man. Go ahead, I. Verse 12. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straight. 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 And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. See? This wisdom is gonna keep you on point. You're not gonna fall. It's gonna keep you. It's gonna keep you balanced, man. The screen talks about the scriptures being the light. What's going on, my brother? And hey, we Hebrew Israelites, brother, it's time to repent. We're in them last days. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, man, it, it, the scriptures talks about the the, the 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 law being a lamp, man. What does a lamp do? It gives you light. It, it, it shows you where you're walking to. But if you don't have no light, you out here running in the damn dark. You just staggering all over the place. You can fall, fuck yourself up. You running on glass. 
You stepping in holes, you could possibly break your damn ankle. You see, these laws, statutes, and commandments are light, man. And any, any, any real brother that's into this truth, they'll tell you how much they like the change since they've been in this truth, man. They'll tell you that. You can feel it. You, 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 you automatically know that, that, that there's a change, man. You automatically know. You can feel it. You can, it's just, it's, 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 it's unexplainable, man. But the last thing you would want to do once you come into this truth is turn back from the plow, man. Once you get going, you got to keep full steam ahead. Not dipping to the left, to the right. You keep straight ahead, man. Go ahead, I Take fast hold of instructions. Let her not go. Go. Keep her, for she is thy flight. See? Take fast hold. That means, man, hey, you grab onto it and you bear hug it, man. You bear hug this truth. You bear hug this, this wisdom, man. It's like you, like I said, we use the illustration of a woman. You giving your woman a nice, nice squeeze, man. Nice squeeze, holding her down, man. You see? It says, for she is thy life. That's why you see so many people getting destroyed. When you look at the news and you see people actually getting, you know, catching those death warrants, so to speak, from Yahweh Bashim al it's because they're doing what he said. They're not doing what he told them to do. That's why you go off into, matter of fact, let me get, um, the scripture comes to mind here. Hosea. We're supposed to be teaching our children and our children's children the, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim al That's how we're going to move. That, hey, that's the way we was moving, man, in the ancient days, man. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. See, the Lord will reject you if you reject what he's telling you to do. Matter of fact, that's Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 1 is basically the same as Proverbs chapter 4 that we're reading right now. But it goes off and telling you that the Lord will laugh at your calamity. When you suddenly fall. When you don't do what he said to do, you're going to suddenly fall and he's going to laugh at your calamity, man. That's deep right there. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Well, you think all these little babies is getting damn done up in drive-bys. Here you go, you got a, a two-month-old sitting on the, on the bed, and a damn bullet just out of nowhere fly through the house and take them out. The baby in the car seat. Oh, you seeing all these deaths of these children, man? The Lord said, because you won't listen to me, you hate me. I'll take your damn children out and make you suffer. And then I'll take your ass out right after. I'm going to let you suffer first, though. You see? Because the scripture talks about... Um, um, Rebellion is as with witchcraft. Matter of fact, let me see. Hold that, Ock. Yep, 1 Samuel 15 and 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. See that? Stubbornness, and hey, that's like iniquity and idolatry. You just stubborn as hell. Oh, uh, no, nice. the Lord, white man wrote that book. But I bet you you won't want nobody to murder you, which is one of the Ten Commandments. I bet you don't want to be stolen from, which is one of the Ten Commandments. You're going to want your children to honor you, which is the Ten Commandments. Oh, uh, well, that's, that's different, though. That's just common. No, where did you get that from? You got that from the scriptures, man. Let's get this back again here. A little bit more on that. For rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word. See that 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 rejecting again? For because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he hath also rejected thee from being king. And that went off into King Saul. But hey, that's got to do with our people as well. Go ahead, Ock. Verse thirteen. Take fast hold of instructions. Let her not go. Keep her. Oh, where you at? You said 13? 13. 13. Oh, I'm still in Hosea. Oh, my bad. Salakia. Okay, let me go back. You said uh, Salakia. Run it back for me, I. Right? Okay. Chapter 4, verse 13. Take fast hold of instructions. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is 
by sick, by, by, by light. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we were just saying. Hey, this wisdom, knowledge, and, and understanding, it brings light. But if you go against it, it brings death. And there's no in-between either. Ain't no in-between. It's either life or death, man. Go ahead, Ock. 15. Avoid. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Oh, did we miss, um, oh, I think we missed 14. Oh, yeah, lock 14. You. Yeah, 14. It's all, it's all good. No, no, because I, 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 yeah, it's all good. Go ahead, Ock. Okay, verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil. Fear. See, it says, enter not into the path of the wicked, which that goes into the so-called white man as well. You can have wicked niggas around you, but when it comes straight down to it, the wickedness of, of Esau Eden, the so-called white man, is what you're seeing produced in the world. This is why you see so much carnage, man. This is why you see so much dilapidation, so to speak. This is why you see so much criminality and shit, man. Because our people following after the oppressor. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. Salak. Oh, where you at real quick? Right, I'm gonna grab this Ecclesiastes. Uh, no, matter of fact, oh, is it? No, it, that's it. Matter of fact, that's Proverbs 2. Proverbs 3. I'm telling you, man, it's all kinds of wisdom in the book of Proverbs, man. I try and read a chapter out of here every day. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And that's what our people do. Our people love the so-called white man, the goddamn oppressor, and choose all of his ways. Our people really think that they're Americans, man. They've turned into complete damn savages. They, they done turned into the white man 2.0, so to speak. Niggas is acting like white people times 20, man. Times 100. Because the so-called white man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Go ahead, Op. Verse 15. Was that, um, you, was it more on that? Oh, you said avoid it. Yep. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. Oh, no. We was in verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Stay, hey, you, this is why these, these law, statutes, and commandments are so important because it tells you who the wicked men are. It tells you the, the attributes of a wicked man. If you don't know, that's why um, the Hosea 4 and 6 I just read, it says our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you don't know that, that, that a car will... will, will Send your ass flying 100 feet and you just running out in the street. <laughs> you see? And that knowledge is, 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 is a, a beautiful thing, man. You have to get into the scriptures so you can know the do's and don'ts. Go ahead, Op. Verse 15. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it. Pass away. See? Avoid it. Avoid the so-called white man and his way of living. We went into Micah 2 and 10. It says that this place will sorely destroy your ass. That's why so many of our people out here messed up. You see? We're talking about a place, man, that promotes all kinds of wickedness, man. They got your, your, your damn alphabet crew out here. They're telling your, your babies that they, you know, they can change their gender. And don't want you to have nothing to do with it, neither. They're constantly at war. It's just gun, 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 shoot them up, bang, bang. Now all of a sudden they want to try and do something about some gun laws or whatever. But this cold country was stolen on with, with the gun, man. Esau Edom's um, um, swore, that gift that they got. This place was, 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 was born on wickedness, man. There's nothing they can do about it. Here you go, you, you, they have you come to the court. Put your hand on the Bible, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But they don't keep nothing in the scriptures. All in the name of white Jesus. Go ahead, Ock. Verse 16. For, for thy sleep not. Yeah, for they sleep not. You see, the wicked don't sleep. The so-called white man, he's up all night. Putting together a plan to destroy your ass. Go ahead, Ock. For they sleep not, except thy Except they have done mischief. Mis mischief. See? They can't even go to sleep unless they done done some bullshit. Go ahead, Op. And therefore, sleep is taken away unless they cause some to be to fall. See? They, hey, they, they sleep is taken away from them unless they cause somebody to fall. They can't even go to sleep until they devise some type of wicked, evil-ass plan, man. And then they, the scripture talks about... um. 
Woe to them that write grievousness, man, into laws, man. They, they come up with laws to, to oppress the Israelites, man. We so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This place thrive off you being in sin. These so-called white people are getting filthy damn wealthy off you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans being in sin. They don't want you to go by the, on the wisdom of the scriptures, man. Just think, Jake stopped smoking. The tobacco industry is out of, out of business. Jake stopped eating pork. The pork industry is finished, man. The doctors won't be getting as many patients. The funeral homes won't be getting as many uh, bodies, man. You see? So on and so forth. If Jacob just keep the Sabbath day, this place will plummet, man. If we didn't go out and, and buy and sell on the Shabbat, America would plummet, man. Go ahead, up. Verse 17. For they, for they eat the bread of wicked, wickedness Woo. and drink the wine of violence. See that? For they eat the bread of wickedness. They drink the wine of violence, man. You're living among some violent and, and wicked people, man. Don't ever get to thinking that the so-called white man is your friend, man. The scripture says, never trust thine enemy. But, I, but what? I, our people trusted um, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Matter of fact, let me grab something real quick. Because our people depend upon this place, man. And this place is going to fall, and you're going to be destroyed and fall right along with them. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And this is spiritual Egypt that you're living in right now. Why do you think that pyramid is on the back of that dollar bill? A lot of the, the, a lot of the lifestyle that's here in America is a lot of Egyptian type shit, man. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Yahweh. That's the problem with our people. They trust in the so-called white man. They're going to him for everything. They're not going to pray to Yahweh by Shem outside, man. They're not going to get, the scripture says, to lean not into thine own understanding. That's Proverbs 3 and 5. Verse 6, it says, um, matter of fact, since we right there, Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. See, when you lean leaning towards your own understanding, that your own understanding is going to send you to the white man. He knows best. I'm going to go to his doctor. I'm going to take his medicine. I'm going to do what he told me to do. He told me to drink eight glasses of water a day. That's what I'm going to do. He told me I need eight hours of sleep a day. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> the so-called white man is giving you there's science. And our people fall for that shit, man. Verse 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. See? Acknowledge how about Shimmy on the side. He's going to give you the, the rundown on what to do, man. He knows what's best, man. We're talking about the all-knowing, the one that created all things. The so-called white man, they don't know everything. Now they're trying to set up their kingdom, you know, with their satellites, with their... He has cameras all over the place. You know, they want to put that MOTB in you. They want to put that grain of rice in you so they can actually somewhat become your God. They have a God complex. When you go off into 2 Thessalonians 2 and, 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 and 3, and, what's that? 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 3 and 4. They have a God complex, man. See, they got wisdom, but it's on the left-hand side, which causes death. But we're talking about the wisdom right now that's on the right-hand side, man. Go ahead, Ock. Verse 18. But the path of the just is as the, the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. See? The path of the just is like a light. We're out here. We're like a light, man. But you know what? It's almost like waking, you know, we didn't say you, you, you into a deep sleep. And somebody come pop into your room and they flick the light. Now you you know you squinting, you doing, you know, you like, the fuck, you know. They just want you, they pull the cover over their head to try and go back into the darkness. They want you to cut the light back off. And it's the same way, man. 
We're shining light, man, on that hill, professing the gospel to our people. And what do they do, man? They just pass by. They look at you like you're crazy. And it don't matter, though. We're going hey, to do the work until it's time to get out of here. You know, Yahweh Rata's eye, man. Yahweh willing. Go ahead, Ox. The way of the, way of the wicked is as darkness. See? They know that they, darkness. My bad. Go ahead, Ox. They know not at what they, they, they stumble. See? We were just talking about that. They, they don't know what they're stumbling at. They don't know what's going on. They just out here. He's just living, man. Just day to day to day. They don't understand that there's a that there's a power in the heavens that's gonna come to destroy this place. They don't understand it. They don't get it. Matter of fact, the scripture talks about um gross darkness. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Man, gross darkness. That's a whole different type of darkness there. It's locked. Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. See? It's gross darkness amongst our people, man. You cannot tell Jake that, that the shit that they be doing on a regular basis is wrong. They'll tell you not. They, don't, they feel as if they, they, they can't do no wrong. What do you mean I'm sinning? What do you mean that's wrong? You know? I'm me. You know, with that yellow spirit. That don't, you only live one spirit, man. But we're out here to let our people know, hey, man, you got to repent, man. We are living in the very last days. This thing is getting so close and serious, man. Straight up. Go ahead, Ock. Um, is you at 19, 18, or 19? Let me come back real quick. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, verse 20. Okay, verse we, 20. Matter of fact, oh yeah, yeah, just a few more um, verses to it. Yeah, we have verse 20. Verse 20, my son, attend to my words, incline thy ear unto my saying. See that? And on and on and on. Repetition. Attend to my words. What's the words? The scriptures, man. Incline thine ear. That means, hey, hearken, man. Heart, listen. Not only listen, but understand what I'm telling you. Because anybody can listen. You see, everybody got two ears. But do you understand why I'm telling you to do what I'm telling you to do? You see? Go ahead, Ock. Verse 21. Let them not depart from, from, from thy ears, from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. See? It says keep them in the midst of thy heart, which is thy mind. It's not talking about your heart that's pumping blood through your veins. It's talking about your mind. You see? You're supposed to be, matter of fact, the scripture talks about meditating on, on the word, on the, on the words of Yahweh about Yahweh Shai, day and night, roughly paraphrasing. If you have children, you're supposed to be constantly talking to them about the word. You go into Proverbs um, is that 22 and 6, it talks about training up a child in the way they should go. This is what the scriptures is about. The Lord is training us up in the way that we should go. When you come into this truth, you're, you're going to become a child again. You're born again. You're going to have to put off everything that you ever learned before and be trained in the scriptures the proper way, man. First off, you have to learn the, the true name of the Father and the Son. You've got to get rid of that white Jesus crap completely out of your mind. And a lot of Israelites, they come into this truth and they want to try and keep some of that Christianity. And you got to get rid of all that cancer, buddy. Go ahead, Doc. 22. For they are light unto those that find them and have and, and, and have and help and help to all their flesh. See? It says, for these, the, the word is life to you and it's health. That's why you have a, what's going on now? That's why you got a dietary law. That dietary law is good for your health. You see? That's why he tells you, don't eat pork. Don't eat swine. Don't. Only eat. Out of the waters, only eat fish with fins and scales. The Lord knew what he was doing, man. You have a complete dietary law that can keep you healthy, man. See, back in the ancient days, we understood herbs. Certain things to make up certain medicines. 
But what did the so-called white man do? He took all that out of the earth, and he's giving you now his man-made scientific nutrition, man, which is not getting you any damn where except for three, four hundred pounds. I was at Walmart yesterday, and I kind of done a lesson on that too, man. Man, you go through Walmart, all you seeing is big ass women on the carts. Straight up, I, now they can walk, right? Now the carts are for the elderly, right? But they're so damn big and so goddamn lazy. They take the, elect the, the electric scooter carts, man. Those are supposed to be for people with handicaps. Their only handicap is, is they too goddamn big to walk down them aisles, man. I see it all the time, because they'll get up out of the cart and check their shit out. So of course they can walk. It was a lady, she pulled up right beside me. Pulled up right beside me in the cart, right? And you know I'm kind of stepping back, you know, trying to give her some space, so you need to get here. You know, she got up off that cart, man, and walked right up to the damn thing. But she was morbidly obese. Go through Walmart, I'm telling you. You want to, that's how you know. See, in these last days, when that family really hit, it's going to hit our people real hard because our people eat so goddamn much. They in there with two carts, both of them basically full of junk food, bunch of damn sugary items. You see what I'm saying? But that comes from knowing the scriptures. Wisdom, man. Wisdom. Here they go, they in the lobster area. They picking out shrimp. The scripture says, only eat those, those things in the waters with fins and scales. What did Jake do? I'm a, a goddamn... It's a, it's a supermarket right over in my neighborhood. I'm a, got frog legs and shit. Like, what the hell want a frog, man? Get to telling you how it tastes like chicken, man. You ain't supposed to eat no goddamn frog. But you got these Christians that'll tell you, or oh, you can eat whatever you want. The Lord, he made everything clean. Well, all right, well, bite down on some of this goddamn asphalt then, since you can eat anything. Bite down, bite down on your phone then, damn it. Chew on yourself. Shit, you, you can eat anything. You can eat people. Well, oh, that's coming a time of cannibalism, though, know, with this famine, man. Because Jake going to have it bad when they can't eat all damn day long. Goddamn fingers just cheesy with Cheetos and shit all day. Go ahead, Doc. My bad. <laughs> I kind of went a little, but hey, that's the spirit though, man. 23, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of, uh, out of it are the issues of life. See, keep thy mind with all diligence, because out of it are the issues of life. See, that's why the scripture talks about casting down the imagination. You got to constantly be meditating on these scriptures, man, because there's a war going on inside you, man. The left wants you to do this, but the right wants you to stay on path. <laughs> and it's a constant fight and war all day. That's why the scripture talks about our, our, um, our weapons are spiritual and not carnal. You're not supposed to be in a carnal um, uh, mindset, man. It'll get you destroyed. Man, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, he just fly, flying over there. He, he might not, he done spotted something. Yeah, yeah, he done spotted something. Let me eat out, man. Go ahead, Ox. Verse 24, put away from thee a poor mouth and preserve lips. And a perver yeah, perverse lips. Perverse lips for, for from thee. Far from thee. Far you from supposed, hey, you're supposed to keep the bullshit far from you, man. And, that, and that's not talking about no ass. You know, these, these, those are not curse words, man. You want to keep a perverse mouth from you, man. Lying on people. Uh, bearing false witness. You know, things of that nature. Causing discord among brethren. You going and you you being a talebearer. You being a babbler. The scripture talks about that. Don't be a talebearer or a babbler, man. You could get somebody destroyed. It's plenty of people that's done 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 the move the ball. And that's Esau Edom, man. He got the, the the he's the worst. He's the number one candidate when it comes to fraud, fraudness, man. Perverse talk. That's it to get you destroyed, man. Go ahead, I. 25. Let thy, thy eyes look right on, and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Yep, let thine eyes look right on. You're supposed to be straight ahead, man. That's like you on a, you know, you're a running back on the football field, and, 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 you, and you looking at the cheerleaders. <laughs> 
You're supposed to be looking for the motherfuckers that's coming to take, take your goddamn head off. You're supposed to be joking. Here you go. You you running straight ahead, looking to the side at the cheerleaders and get your damn neck broken. You you being stretched out of the out of the stadium, man. Go ahead, Op. Matter of fact, we almost about finished. 26. Ponder the path of thy feet and let that all thy ways be established. See? Ponder thy path. How do you do that? You're gonna be thinking like, well, hey, the Lord said to do this. So this is what I'm gonna do. And guess what? You're gonna be on, on solid ground. You're gonna be on solid footing. But you get to thinking carnally, that shit gonna get you destroyed, man. You can only be spiritual. First off, the Lord gotta be dealing with you by the Holy Spirit. You see, first off, you have to know the true names of the father and son, secondary. I mean, well, that's first off as well. But you got to be on point, man, with the father first off, man. Because there's plenty, like I said, it's, it's plenty of Israelites out here. But they don't have the 100% truth, though. You got some that's teaching. They, they won't even teach you the true name of the father. You got some that won't even tell you that, you know, this man is trying to put a grain of rice in you. This guy want to put a goddamn uh, uh, Xbox in you, man. And joystick your ass. Tell you it's spiritual. Yeah. I ain't telling you the real truth, man. You got some of man. It's just all over the place, man. The scriptures is simple. The kingdom is, is at hand. We preach the gospel and let our people know the kingdom is at hand. Repent. That's that's the simple go good news, man. And it's only for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And we're about to end out, though. There's one more verse, one more verse on this chapter, though. Let's get the last verse, all right? Last verse, 27. Turn not to, to the right hand, nor to the left, to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. See that? Remove thy foot from evil, man. Don't be dipping over here and dipping over here. Man, hey, look, stay straight ahead. You have to concentrate and stay straight ahead, man. We're living in the last days, man. Things are about to get super duper crucial, man. Keep your mindset on Yahweh by Shimmy our side, man. You want to pray to Yahweh that he will not remove his candlestick, blow out your candlestick, or remove his Holy Spirit from you. According to Psalms um, chapter 51. You want to be on point in these last days, man. You wait until, until, until this gas hit another dollar. Two dollars. Because it's not going down. It's not going to go down. Motherfuckers is already out here uh, uh, vicious as hell, man. The grime, it's gonna be some of the grimiest niggas out here. They already grimy, but they gonna turn up. That, that's why the, uh, uh, the apostles uh, coined this year the year to turn up. <laughs> he, <laughs> Apostle Tahar, he, yeah, he called it, he coined this year for the, the year to turn up. Cause things are turning up. And I just seen that video. Um, you see the uh, the video with the royal, uh, with the queen and them over there for Jubilee. Okay, so you know how they had the planes fly over, you know. The military planes fly over, they had the red, white, and blue powder smoke coming out and shit. Man, there was a chariot flying right along with them. Everybody been talking about it. It was on live TV, so they couldn't edit it. And everybody been talking about it, bro. Even, see these so-called white people. They don't know. They, they, that's, they click that. It's hard times coming upon them. Man. Even <laughs> our two-thirds. Hey, no. It's going to get real rough for two-thirds, man. Yeah. You don't want no parts of being at being on two third or uh, uh, the, uh, no parts of that second death, man. Straight up. Ain't watching if you if you want to. That's why the scripture says to watch and pray. See, that's why we watch so many um, um, news stories. That's the reason why we go we scour through the news because he told that was a commandment to watch and pray and to blow the trumpet. We're supposed to give you warning. That's what we're out here doing. When we doing lessons, man, it's not just because we just doing lessons. You know, we strike by the spirit. You know, when the spirit hit us, we go into something. Whether it might just be one verse being read. But all the scriptures are alive, man. A video can be 30 seconds. It can change a person's life. The video don't have to be hours, two hours. You just never know. You may have only one subscriber. You may not have no, no subscribers at all. The 144,000 person can listen to your video. A 10 second clip, all of a sudden he's sealed and things start to really, you know? But you know, I know like the apostles, they said, you know, the, the 144,000 elect could be sealed already. But there's a few more things to come, but these things are on the brink. World War III is, is right at your door. It's actually done started, basically. 
And then, like I said again, they're all they're talking about now is contactless payment. They don't want you know the cash is out of here. They've been talking about this lady. Cash is about to be done. Elon, whatever. Oh yeah, Elon Musk with the with the damn neural link. Never heard about this man. Now all of a sudden you hear about yep. him all the time. Yep. With a damn neural link, man. They want to put those in. He's talking about. They already they already um have test subjects already. They're already putting stuff in it. And you you know like, you can Google um uh, uh these chips, man. People are getting them in them already. They're getting them in them already. It's funny, I was just watching um, Annie at the crib, and I never seen it before with Jamie Foxx. I didn't really look at it, look at it. But, you know, he was he was like this rich guy in his apartment. And, you know, Annie, she walks up on the elevator, and she puts her palm, and it takes her, her biometric, you know, scan of her palm, then the elevator open and take her up to the penthouse. So these things are, these things are out here, man. And see, a lot of our people, they're going to, they're gonna get done because they think it's cool. Oh, uh, look at me! I got the newest this. I got the newest that. And they're gonna accept that shit. And 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 um, matter of fact, I get um, go to Revelation 13 and 16 real quick. We might as well just get that real quick. We'll end out with that. Revelation 13 and 16. Thirteen and sixteen. Yep. Revelation 13 and 16. You can go ahead, Aqua, you got it. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calleth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. See that? That mark, man. Go ahead, Aqua. And, and, and that, that no man might buy or sell Say, say, say he that had the mark or the the name of of the beast or the number of his name. See that? It's saying that no, no man, hey, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. They already pretty much tested that out with COVID-19. Hey, if you didn't have on that mask, it was just certain shit you couldn't do. Certain places you couldn't go. You see? So you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you take what these people are telling you to get. Hey, little lady. All right, all right. Go ahead. Bring that back, all right? 17. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, 17. Bring back 17 again. And, and that no man might buy or sell save he that, that had the mark or the, the name of the beast of the number of his name. See, you're not gonna be able to shop. You're not gonna be able to go out here and get no food, man. No water, no no gas, no nothing. You're not gonna be able to purchase anything unless you get what they're telling you to get. And it's gonna be real bad on a lot of our women that, that depend upon this, um, this, well, the, 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 yep, especially up on the, on the welfare system, because they're gonna be able to, they're gonna tell you, hey, look, if you don't get this thing into you, then you're not going to be able to, we're not going to give you benefits anymore. We're going to take away your benefits unless you comply with us. And that's why so many people went out here and they rolled their damn sleeve up and, and got that, that juice, man. You oh, see? Oh, Bill, you yeah. They went and got that juice. Now they, now they have an idea or data as to who's going to comply and who's not. Now they're doing it with the five-year-olds, um, I think. Five-year-olds and younger. I think they're 12 to five, five to 12. But they're working on your children now. They want you to get your, they want your children to get four or five damn shots, man. Not to mention with the flu. They want you to get all that shit. They want you to get everything. They want you to up and date your damn chicken pox shot, your monkey pox shot. They got you out here just juiced up, man. When well, those pe uh, people not paying attention to the lies, they saying that all these people they caught COVID, but the world still not COVID. Yeah. Man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, the propaganda that's being pushed out here. That, hey, but that's a part of Esau Edom's sword, man. They use the media to basically push their agendas, and and and, and people be listening to that shit, man. 
They listen to everything the so-called white man says. And with faith, at the, you, have to, you have to really filter through what this man is telling you on the news, man. Our people sit, I, hey, my uncle and them is like that. These old, especially the older generation, they sit, man, whatever channel 247 tell the asses, they about that. Go to um, for, um, chapter 14, all right? Let's get, let's get the results of if you take this shit. Chapter 14. Verse um, 9. 9. Yep. Verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall Oh, no, go. no, um, um, 14 and 9. 14 and 9. Yeah, Revelation 14 and 9. That's all good. Because this right here is going into the, 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 this is the punishment. But if you take what this so-called white man is giving you, you better have some faith in the Lord that he's the one that's going to feed you, man. That he's going to be looking out for you. That's why the scripture talks about my servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. My servant shall have joy. We went into that last week. But he says that the ones that don't hearken to this, this word, you're going to be thirsty. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be ashamed. Go ahead, I Revelation 14 and 9. And the, and the third angel followed, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the okay. same yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The, sa the same shall drink of the wine of the world. The wrath. The wrath of God. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. His, his indignation. indignation. That, that super anger, man. And and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the, the Lamb. Of the Lamb, see? Hey, that, hey, that strong drink without mixture, man. The Lord, hey, you you take what this so-called white man is pushing, your ass is going to be destroyed. Just straight flat out, man. That's why it's so important to repent and believe on your by Shimmy outside, man. That's what we need. Jake going to get up and they going to run straight down to wherever Esau telling them to go. And, and, and they going to get that damn, they going to get that thing in them, man. Because they have absolutely no trust in y'all about you on the side. It's not going to be a good look, man. So with that, you know, we're going to end out, man. Um, Hey, repent. We're living in the last days. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Again, you are the Hebrew Israelites. Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh's side. Because we're at the end. It's not, this is not going to carry on too much more longer, man. The prophecies is coming to pass right before our very eyes. So with that... Gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Give honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Aqua that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Kwam Yashalom. We had here.